Hello everyone, and today we will install MeCopyBX in Docker container. Firstly, I should say that I will do everything uh, on Ubuntu 22.04. Uh, and also we won't deal with uh, Docker Compose. This is an instruction about uh, simple Docker. Uh, and uh, that's it. Okay, we will follow uh, this text instruction uh, on official MikopoBX docs website. Uh, here we can see three sections. Uh, the last one is about uh, Docker Compose only. And because uh, of that, we will deal with the first and the, with the second section. Um, firstly, mm, let's go to the section, which is Docker installation and creating a user and direct directories. Uh, here we will uh, make some preparation for uh, work with Docker and with MikopoBX uh, on its interface. Uh, okay, uh, here I'll just uh, copy all these uh, commands and uh, prompt it into Ubuntu terminal. Okay. Uh, Let's start from the beginning of this documentation. Uh, the first thing that we should do it, it is just update package list and install required uh, dependence. Uh, firstly, copy this one and just paste it here. Uh, here it will request your password. You just type it and press enter. Uh, here we will just uh, wait for result and uh, continue to do the same thing, like just copy and uh, paste in terminal. Copy the section command and paste it here. Uh, terminal ask us uh, if we want to continue. We just uh, write uh, big Y and uh, press enter. Uh, And uh, yeah, uh, we did this first section, and uh, now we should go to the second one. It's like uh, add the gpgk for Docker's official repository. As we can see in terminal, everything finished uh, successfully, and uh, we can go uh, to the next step. Just copy this one and uh, paste it here paste it here, everything done perfectly. And uh, we can go to the fourth command. It is uh, at Docker's repository to the apt sources list. Just copy this command and uh, paste it here. Um, here, uh, terminal asks us to uh, press enter if we want to continue or press ctrl c to cancel well, i will press enter and uh, the next step will be install installation of docker uh, uh, that would be our last step uh, in this uh, section uh, cost because uh, the next one is install docker compose we don't need that and uh, yeah, let's get started with installation of Docker SE. Copy this one and uh, copy the second one. Uh, do you want to continue? Why? Yeah, and uh, we have done this section um, successfully, and uh, we can go straight away to the second big section in this uh, documentation. It is uh, creating a user and directories uh, on the host system. We need to do that uh, because this user in Linux is uh, the root one. But if you want to give an access to someone else to configure your system, maybe edit some files on something like that, it is better to you to create a new user uh, with special rights and rules. And so uh, we will do something like that. We will add a user with the name www.user. And uh, after that, uh, create uh, directories 
for data storage and uh, for config. The first one is for config and uh, the second one for storage. Uh, and uh, the next step is just uh, granting the created user ownership of the directories. Like I said before, we need that for the, the special user which don't need uh, root rights. And uh, we finish this section. Here you can see some useful commands. Uh, you can find them on official documentary website of Mikopobix. And uh, now we are ready to go to the section uh, to the second section, uh, which is running Mikopobix in a container. Uh, here it says that we should uh, do all these preparations before this section, like we did them before, and we are ready to launch the Docker container. Uh, here you need just to uh, put in the container image. You can do that by this command. Sorry. Uh, yeah, here we just wait. Um, and uh, the, sec the second thing that we will do is uh, running the container in unprivileged uh, mode. Uh, yeah, we can straightly copy this code and just uh, wait for extracting. Uh, as you can see with this documentation, it's pretty easy to deal with uh, all these commands. Yeah, you just copy and paste until everything works. Paste this one. And uh, from this moment, uh, our Docker container with Mikopovix is up. Uh, here, uh, documentation suggests us to test the functionality. Uh, firstly, we can check uh, container status. Status, sorry. Uh, we can see up uh, 20 seconds. That means that it's work perfectly. And uh, the second thing that we must do is just uh, look at the logs of uh, our Mikopobix. Uh, here we see all these logs. As you can see, our system is going up now. Uh, and so uh, it seems to be we should wait for another 10 seconds before we can see uh, information about our IP addresses. Yeah. That is finally here because I use um, uh, Ubuntu in VirtualBox. It shows me two uh, network addresses. The first one, uh, it is address uh, I can connect to this one from my Ubuntu, and so the second one is uh, um, the IP address uh, for external world. Let's say I can connect uh, from my Windows to this system without any troubles. Let's uh, deal with uh, the first address in our uh, Ubuntu. We just paste it here. Uh, advanced, accept the risk and continue. And uh, as you can see, it, it is works. Yeah, it works perfectly. Uh, now we are logging by our default uh, username and password and system will ask us to change uh, the password. Let's do that. We did it. And uh, from now, our system is fully ready to use. And uh, as you can see, it is so simple to set up Mikopobix uh, in Docker container. Okay, and uh, now uh, let's connect to soft phones to our Mikopobix station. Firstly, I suggest to connect to Mikopobix uh, in my Windows interface via this external IP address. Uh, for me, it is 192.168.77.13. Okay, let's do that. Uh, 192. 
0.168.77.13. Yeah, we are finally here. Uh, let's connect via username and password. Yeah, and here we are. Uh, here we have uh, three extensions. Let's connect extension with internal number 201 to phone or light. Uh, for that, we need to go to its settings and uh, go to phone or light. Here, click new. Uh, in domain realm field, just uh, type your IP address. I mean, IP address of uh, your Mikopo BX. Uh, here we are. Yeah, in username field, uh, type internal number of uh, your stuff. It is uh, 201. In notification name, uh, type the same. And in the password field, just copy this password for C and uh, paste it here. And uh, as we can see, when a light writes that our uh, stuff registered, uh, our worker uh, registered, and we also can check that in the extension second uh, section in Mikopo VX by this green indicator. Uh, we made it successfully with the first soft phone. Let's do with the second. Um, I will connect uh, uh, the worker with internal number 202. Uh, to the Zoiper, uh, we should open uh, the Zoiper interface and uh, type uh, internal number of our stuff here. Uh, after that, type this symbol and uh, here type uh, the IP address of your station. Okay, here we are. and. As you can understand, to the password field, just copy this password for SIP. And uh, for this moment, it is ready to use. Yeah, here we can see green indicator, and also we can see the green indicator here. Uh, let's call from one soft phone to another, for example, in this way. Yeah, we can see it works perfectly. Okay, and for the last step, I suggest you to check our system by internal uh, job plan application, which name a hot test. Uh, let's deal this number in one of our soft phones, connected soft, phone, soft phones. Uh, it is 1000 and Deal. One, One, two, two three, three, four, four five. five. As we can see, everything works perfectly. And uh, that is means that we did everything uh, fine. And uh, our makeup of X works perfectly. Okay, thank you for watching and uh, have a nice day. Bye.